here we are in Pomo territory. And then what was happening in California at the time was an attempted genocide. Attempted, I say, because it was not successful. As you know, the Pomo people are very strong and resilient and are still here today. When they came in here, 1857, the military came here because they said, the settlers said, the native people are taking our potatoes and this and that. They said, we need to build a fort here to protect the settlers and we need to control the native peoples here. Now they made native people walk all the way from hundreds of miles north, hundreds of miles south. They made them all walk here to Fort Bragg because they were trying to clear them out of everywhere in so-called Northern California, right? For the gold rush and all of that greed. They made them come here and they made the Fort Bragg and they made a reservation. Now you heard Priscilla tell you that the people here on this so-called reservation were starving. Now, how did he get this name? Why Bragg? Right. This guy, Braxton Bragg, never actually came here. Braxton Bragg, he never came here. He was named by this other guy, Horatio Gates Gibson, who came here. And he was colonizing all over the West Coast, including Mexico. He started as a young soldier attacking Mexico. And he was working alongside Braxton Bragg, was his commander and they were in charge of the cannons. And uh, so they got famous, Braxton Bragg got famous because he was successfully conquering Mexico. The Battle of Buena Vista is his most famous battle. And he, it's easy to win when you have such big guns, right? Um, like, like they had. So here he goes, he starts as a young man going against the Seminole people. And then he attacks Mexico wow. and becomes famous and then they carry on forward and he becomes named, they named this place for him because when they conquered Mexico, that, they, this came with it, according to them, right? The Pomo people did not agree to this, but now we have this, so Bragg is going from Seminole people, some of whom never surrendered. Seminole people never surrendered. To this day, there are still some in Florida, so-called Florida, yeah. And so these people are connected. The Pomo people's struggle is connected with the people all over California, all over Mexico, Seminole people, all the way across, Trail of Tears, all through this man, Braxton Bragg. And after they named this fort after him, he actually becomes a traitor against his own United States, and he goes and becomes a general in the CSA. This is the Confederate States of America. Not only was he a general, he becomes the second in command. He was pretending to own people and have them on his sugar plantation. At least in my research, he had at least 125 people. And he was a ruthless, ruthless person. He's, I would put him on one of the shortest lists of horrible, horrible people ever to walk across this continent. This, destroying constantly. So he is a colonizer and a Confederate Klansman at the highest levels. And this town is named after